everyone, welcome back to DNA Crafts. My name is Athena, and if you're new here, welcome. I invite you to be part of the craft fam by subscribing down below. Today I'm bringing you another scary Halloween makeup look and one that is not so scary. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the first one that I'm gonna do, I have my eyebrows done. I also have some bronzer. I should have just done one eyebrow. I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. But I basically have most of my makeup done. To start off the eyeshadow, I'm using this duo brush from an Urban Decay palette that I have. I'm just gonna be using this fluffy side of the brush and I'm using the James Charles palette. And I'm gonna take this really dark brown, almost maroon color, and I'm going to put it all over my eyelid area and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And so this is what I meant by I only should have done one eyebrow. Uh, I'm using this glue stick, so I had to take off one of my eyebrows. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. If you guys saw my previous video, you guys know that I did this. And this helps to hide your eyebrow. So I'm just taking that glue stick and I'm using a spoolie and I'm just gonna brush through it and I'm gonna let that dry, repeat, and do it maybe about three times total. And again, if you guys saw from my previous video, I used some setting spray and then grabbed some glitter or shimmery eyeshadow and it helps like enhance the, the shininess of the eyeshadow. So that's what I'm doing here to apply to my eyelid. And like I said, I'm gonna keep repeating this process with the glue stick maybe about three times adding the glue stick, going through with the spoolie, and just making sure everything is really, really flat. And I'm gonna take the other side of this Urban Decay Duo brush. It's just a smaller fluffy brush, and I'm gonna use it to focus on putting some of that really dark brown underneath the waterline. Then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is the lightest shade that I found. It's called Fair Warm. And this is a really good full coverage concealer. However, this color is way too light, but I'm using it this light because I want it to cover up my eyebrow. I'm gonna apply some there. Then I'm gonna use a sponge to blend it out. And this is what I meant by, I probably should have done this before from the very beginning, just so I didn't have to like get it in the way of my eyeshadow now but I'm gonna take this liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna start making petals and that first one sucked really bad but uh, it's okay you don't have to be perfect um, I'm just gonna do quite a few petals all the way around uh, to start forming like a sunflower And then to give it some more depth and definition, I'm gonna go ahead and add smaller petals in between those petals, if that makes sense. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add two giant leaves at the top and one small leaf at the bottom. And I'm gonna draw a circle on the tip of my nose and then add a couple petals there too. Make it look like there's another flower there. Then I'm gonna take a very small compacted brush. This is an e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm gonna grab some yellow to make sure I really pack that yellow into the petals. And I'm mainly doing this on the um, edges of the petals, like towards the outer edges of the petals and most of the petals that were put in between the larger petals. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and also do this to the two middle petals on my nose flower. Uh, then I'm gonna leave the two outer petals to be like leaves. I'm gonna take some of this like burnt orange and add that to the intersection of the petals just to make it look a little more realistic. Then I'm gonna use some of this darker green from the James Charles palette to color in my leaves. Here I'm filling in the nose circle with some of that shimmery eyeshadow that I used earlier on my eyelid. And next I'm gonna use some of this white face paint and a really fine liner brush and I'm gonna draw out the veins of the leaves. Then I'm gonna take my liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna draw a line from the cheek into my lip and do the same on the other side, basically to resemble like a stitched mouth, sort of. And I'm gonna start doing lines up and down on my lips all the way, kind of angling that stitch towards the end. 
To finish off this look, I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner and I'm gonna apply my Lupita's lashes in the style of Valeria. I really love these lashes, guys. I totally recommend them to y'all. If y'all want 10% off, use promo code CRAFTFAM at the checkout on her website. She has lots of different styles, perfect for any type of occasion. These are the Valeria eyelashes. And if you guys didn't see my previous video, I'm doing a giveaway on these same exact lashes that I'm using, the Valeria style. And all you have to do is go to my Instagram post of the giveaway, read all of the directions there. This giveaway ends when the next makeup video is uploaded. So make sure you guys go and enter. For the next makeup tutorial, I have my hair curled here and I did a black smoky eye on one side. Make sure not to do it on the other one. I'm taking a black pencil eyeliner and I'm outlining a jagged circle around my eye area. And I'm going to take some liquid latex next and some Kleenex. And with a sponge, I'm going to apply this liquid latex on the outline that I made. And there I'm going to be tearing some strips from the Kleenex and applying it there. I'm going to be trimming off some excess and I'm pinching together the Kleenex as well. And I'm gonna do this to the entire circle that I created. Once I've placed the Kleenex on there, I'm gonna add another layer of liquid latex on top of the Kleenex to make sure that it is at the texture that I want. Then I'm taking that pencil brush again and I'm going to trace another line above my eyebrow and do the same thing. I'm going to add the latex and the Kleenex, but be very careful around your hair area because liquid latex does pull whenever you take it off and it might pull a little bit of your hair, so be careful with that. Next, I'm going to take a deck of cards and from here, I'm just going to use the Ace and the Queen because obviously the Ace is the best card and obviously we're doing the Queen of Spades. So I'm taking those two cards and I'm going to cut off some of the bottom. I actually ended up cutting a little bit more as you can see here. And what I'm going to do is layer them like this on top of my eyebrow where the Kleenex is at. And I'm going to add some liquid latex to the back of the cards and stick them there like this. Next, I'm taking some black face paint and I'm taking a brush to fill in the entire circle. Just make sure you're careful with your eye, of course. Then I'm taking some artificial blood and I'm filling in the circle here. I actually started using the blood and started making drips here. I didn't realize that I shouldn't have done this until after this part where I used a brush with that same dark brown and I'm applying it on top of the Kleenex area. This is to give the Kleenex more of a burnt look. Um, I should have done this first before applying the blood, so just make sure you look out for that. And then I went in and applied some more blood the on top of, so now it looks more burnt because if I would have just left it like that, it would have looked too pale. Next, I'm taking this Wet n Wild black lipstick and I'm applying my lipstick here. Then I used my liquid eyeliner to draw out a spade on my cheekbone. And I decided to add some more dripping blood. To get that effect of the dripping blood, just keep packing the blood at the bottom of the drip and it'll give it more of a drip effect. To finish off this look, I'm gonna put on a crown. And you guys already know, I'm gonna use my Lupita's lashes in the style of Valeria. I love these lashes, these are my favorite. You guys, make sure you use code CRAFTFAM at checkout.